Book one, chapter two, Sewing, of Hard Times is called Murdering the Innocents. Mr. Gradgrind thinks of himself as a purely rational man oriented to the value of facts. When interacting with Sissy Jupe, first identified as girl number 20, he scolds her for calling herself Sissy, then scolds her father for using a nickname instead of her given name, Cecilia. When Mr. Gradgrind learns her father works for the circus, he tells her to describe him as a horse breaker, adding, you mustn't tell us about the ring here. He then tells her to call her father a veterinary surgeon because he treats the horses when they're sick. He scolds her further when she's unable to define a horse when asked to do so. Then Bitzer, a fact-oriented classmate, provides a definition of a horse. Quadruped, graminivorous, 40 teeth, namely 24 grinders, 4 eye teeth, and 12 incisive. Sheds coat in the spring. In marshy countries, sheds hooves too. Hooves hard, but requiring to be shod with iron. Age known by marks and mouth. Grad grind approves. After this session, an unnamed government officer explains to the students why a room should not be decorated with pictures of horses. Horses do not walk up and down the sides of rooms in reality. He goes on to explain flowers should not appear on carpets because they do not grow on floors. Sissy Jupe, who cannot see the reasons for such attitudes, tries to argue she likes flowers, but the adults scold her for being prone to fancy for wanting flowered carpet or birds on her dishes. The gentleman then turns over the lesson to Mr. Machokum Child, the schoolmaster highly educated in all forms of facts that he begins conveying to the students. For a man so concerned with facts, Mr. Gradgrind seemingly plays fast and loose with the facts of Sissy's life story. The reference to Sissy as girl number 20 and his desire to use the formal version of her name instead of the name she prefers shows how impersonal and detached from humanity the educational process in the school actually is and how injurious it is to the children. For all the emphasis on factual matters in the school's curriculum, Bitzer's definition of a horse is formalized to the point of being meaningless. His definition offers no practical knowledge, just facts devoid of the context that would make them beneficial to someone who wants to know about horses as living creatures. The extreme nature of this educational approach culminates in the government officer's speech about eliminating representations of horses, flowers, or anything else that might be used as ornament. His explanation presumes an almost comic level of ignorance on the part of people who want decorative touches. The purpose of his speech is to eliminate any sign of fancy or unreality from one's surroundings, and presumes people are somehow unable to distinguish between representations and reality, and that it's better to live without beauty or taste or decoration since these all cost something. 